students now the next part of the chapter is chemical properties of metals before that here we are having a table okay this table you have to fill in which you have to write down the name of different type of articles and you have to write down the name of metals used uh in the formation of these article the article is solid or liquid it is hard or soft it is having shiny or dull surface what is its color these all things you have to fill means you have to fill approx uh, means uh, all these articles means pressure cooker whatever there are given so you have to write about these now one more example is there that is activity number 2 the activity second represents the uh, means uh, gives an idea that the uh, means metals are the good conductor of electricity so there is a cell these are the positive and the negative terminals of the cell and from one of the and uh, means uh, this one uh, electric bulb is connected but in between two crocodile clips are there the ends of the crocodile clips they are made up of metal okay they are metallic so once when we have connected two crocodile clips okay one with the positive end second with the negative end so in this way if both the crocodile clips are not in contact with each other then the bulb will not glow but when the crocodile clips comes in contact with each other then the bulb will start glowing that's why we can conclude that the metals are the good conductor of electricity means the conduction of electricity occurs only through the metals now today we we are going to discuss about the next topic that is the chemical properties of metals generally the metals are having some uh, common chemical properties that is they do not uh, means they react with the other uh, type of uh, elements or other type of substances and form uh, means different uh, type of chemical compounds for example there is an example like the metal react with oxygen and whenever the metal react with oxygen then it forms the metal oxide okay like uh, you have seen in your daily life that iron it may also react with the oxygen if iron rod is there a piece of iron is there then it will react with the oxygen and form a layer of rust around it that is also the layer of iron oxide so it is a brownish layer so here we are just taking the example of magnesium you have to remember that metal react with oxygen to form metal oxide like the magnesium it react with the oxygen when it is burnt then in the presence of oxygen it form the magnesium oxide which is just like a white powder now you have also means we must know about one more thing that all the different type of metals present uh, in our surrounding or in our environment they are arranged in the form of a table according to their reactivity means some elements are there which are more reactive while others are there which are lesser reactive like the gold platinum these are noble metals they do not show any reaction that's why they are noble metals but all the different type of elements have different reactivity and when the all the metals are arranged in the decreasing order of their reactivity then such type of series is called reactivity series in this series hydrogen is the only non metal so here is the reactivity series all these are means the highly reactive element is at the top and the least reactive elements are at the bottom hydrogen is is alone a non metal which is included in this series now let's come and uh, we must know in the reactivity series the potassium sodium they are at the top of the reactivity series that means they are very very reactive so we must means you have to know this thing that uh, some metals means all the metals have different type of reactivity like some metals react with the other elements even on heating some elements react uh, just by themselves only in the presence of oxygen like potassium and sodium they when exposed to air they react with the oxygen and catches fire therefore this is the reason that they are stored in the kerosene oil second one reaction with water different type of metal react with water at different temperature and whenever the metal react with water 
then they form basic oxides since you know about the ph paper that is litmus paper okay you know about the litmus paper L litmus paper is a paper which gives us information about the type of solution if the uh, solution is acidic then the litmus paper means blue colored litmus paper turns into red and when the solution is basic then the red color litmus paper get turned into blue color okay so whenever the metal react with water then it forms such type of solution which is basic in nature and also it release the hydrogen gas different type of metal react with different elements at different type of temperatures so let's consider like uh, for example let's take there is a uh, activity 3 given uh, there are five examples in first example there is a test tube in this test tube water is filled if we will put here some pieces of sodium then it react with the water and form sodium oxide and also hydrogen gas is produced whenever we are taking a burning matchstick near the mouth of the test tube then the gas will burn with the pop sound the flame will burn appear to burn with a pop sound this shows that the gas is hydrogen and this is the sodium hydroxide which is formed by reaction of sodium with water similarly when magnesium react with water since sodium it can react with the cold water also because it is very reactive magnesium do not react with cold water so actually uh, means magnesium uh, requires a little bit warm water or a little bit hot water for reaction with water so it react with hot water warm water and form the magnesium oxide and hydrogen gas so what we will do we will take water put some crystals of magnesium in it and then we will start heating it then magnesium oxide is formed and hydrogen gas is formed next one then zinc is there in water whenever the zinc is uh, re, uh, means put inside the water the granules of the zinc do not react with warm water so we will heat the water at a high temperature zinc reacting with water that is boiling water and then zinc oxide is formed and hydrogen gas is released iron also react with water but the water here is in the form of a steam iron react with only steam and then form iron oxide it do not actually react with it do not react with so the iron react actually with the steam only and when iron react with the steam then it to produce iron oxide here is an example that here iron it is put inside the water and when the water get convert into steam only then iron react with the water and form iron oxide and release hydrogen gas similarly till iron the elements or metal react with water but after that like copper like gold platinum silver they are these are the elements which do not react with water readily even on even at high temperature even if water is present in the form of steam so copper do not react with water so they, that's why we are having a conclusion that all the metal react with water in a different way if the reactivity decreases then the reaction with water also decreases and the reactivity of metal for the means there are sodium magnesium zinc co iron copper so we can arrange them in the order of their reactivity according to the reactivity series